Hello, this is Dr. Gary from First Look MRI. And this is a patient who's 51 years old. They have neck pain and they have a small disc herniation here. This is a very typical finding we see. They had pain in the neck going down into the muscles of the shoulder. And also a pain in the hands and fingers. And if we look on this view, we see the spinal cord that comes out of the brain. The spinal cord is this dark band and it comes down through the spinal canal and it's surrounded by white fluid. And this whole thing is called the spinal canal and it contains the spinal cord again that comes out of the brain stem and this white fluid that surrounds it. And here in the lower cervical spine we see a dark band. This is a disc here separating two vertebral bodies together. This squares the vertebral body and this is the shock absorber or the cushion. And this is the disc and we see that there's a disc protrusion or herniation pushing on this spinal cord pushing it backwards and compressing it. So this is a disc herniation. You can see the spinal cord instead of going straight is getting pushed backwards. Also the spine is, is not straight. Usually there's a gentle curvature. It comes up and backwards over here. For this patient's spine goes up and then goes back forward towards the face. Here's the face over here. So this is sometimes seen with muscle spasm. and the patient will compensate because they're in such pain and tilt their head forward and the spinal curvature will be abrupt like this, abnormal. And if we roll to the sides, here's the central cut. If we roll one direction, we roll out into these openings called the neural foramina. So here is a foramen filled with bright fat and there's a little gray area that's a nerve. And here's another foramen, big open foramen with a little gray nerve. If we look at this foramen, we only see darkness. So this is a disc herniation that's filling that hole, plugging that hole, pushing on the nerve that's coming out. So this is their problem. Here's a nice foramen with a little nerve. If we go to the opposite side, we're going to see the same thing. So there's a really broad disc herniation and you can see that disc that's black completely filling that hole, plugging that hole on the left. So we should see brightness, we see darkness. So this uh, person unfortunately has a disc herniation that pushes on the cord, causes a central spinal canal stenosis and displacement of the cord and also severe bilateral foraminal stenosis, so the foramen are these openings. So that is it. It's a bread and butter thing we see every day, and thank you very much.